Hey YouTube, so I'm about to unbox the Trustmaster T300 RSGT wheel and pedal. Um, as you know, if you if you saw the video, my previous videos, you would have seen that I purchased the Logitech G29 wheel and pedal kit to, so I can set up a, a racing simulator. So the reason I decided to go to move away from the G29 that I just purchased and move toward the Thrustmaster is because of the adaptability of the Thrustmaster. So when I first the first thing I didn't like about the G29 series from Logitech is the pedal shifter. Sorry, the the shifter, the gear shifter. So I don't I don't like the quality of it. And after purchasing it, I, I was looking to see if I can find a better shifter. But what I saw online was the Thrustmaster. So so I was kind of um, kind of disappointed in that Logitech doesn't provide a better shifter. So I looked at upgrading my shifter. I bought a parts upgrade shifter, um, but I never did it. It was going to um, uh, convert it over to, to a sequential, but I changed my mind. I returned the, the process. I decided not to, not to do any coverage. I was also planning to upgrade the pedals. Uh, so I was having problems with the feel of the pedal. After, after driving for a couple of hours, you kind of realize um, I wanted something more realistic. The pedals, I was about to upgrade the pedals, change the springs on the pedals. The, the, the main issues I had, the brake was fine with me. I had issues with the, the gas pedal and the clutch. The clutch felt very toyish to me. So I decided, and so I decided to upgrade the clutch, upgrade the pedals as well. So after thinking about it, I, I realized why, why invest in, in trying to fix to make this product better when I look online to find upgraded parts for it, for the, the G29 or the Logitech um, wheels. And they're not, they're not I, I couldn't find any upgrades, but when I looked at Trustmaster, I saw there are a lot of different upgrades. You can upgrade your pedals, you can get better shifter. So since I was within my return window, I decided to just, just return it, spend a little extra money, get a get the a Trustmaster product that is more that you can you can as you grow, I didn't want to spend too much money again, but it's something that I can, you know, in the future I can change my pedals, upgrade my pedals upgrade my my um, my shifter different things so I decided to go with it the T300 RS GT package um, for me that was at a reasonable price point um, it was like four hundred dollars so it's an additional 150 um, added let's get into the box and see what's inside right so I've not opened this as yet so I know it may seem as though I I return things quickly, but I just want to make sure I get the best value for my money. Um, like I said, initially I wanted to start small, but you don't want to start small and end up wasting your money because for me not nothing against logitech the product is good i mean it, i like the force feedback the the wheel performed really well but I, i'm looking for more realism right and i don't think it offers much upgrades to the next level I, you know i want to progress so as i progress i want to improve my equipment and no point in, in purchasing something and then you can't upgrade it, unlike the Trustmaster. All right, so inside the box, we have here, you see, 
the T300 RS GT edition. Nice pedals and everything. So I didn't order the shifter. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm on a budget. So I'll order the shifters sometime later on. I'll post a video on it. And not a reason I decided one. Not a good reason I decided to go with this product is because this is interchangeable. So you can upgrade your, your wheel to Formula One types, you know, Ferrari wheels, different types. You have different options, and I like that. You have a different option and just stuck with one, um, one on a on a breadable wheel. Right, so you can, quality feels pretty good. Actually feels really good, very realistic. And it's a bigger wheel. It's a slightly bigger wheel as well. And, and I think this is a pedal upgrade. For the brake, I'm gonna install that as well. All right, and you have power supply for the wheel, and of course it's for the clamp for the clamp for the wheel as well. And from what I, when I, when my little research I've, I've done, um, this actually is a belted um, wheel as against gears. Um, so I'm not 100% on it. Um, you know, just a little bit of videos I, I've looked at to see the difference between the two. Should, have, should be a smoother, much smoother um, wheel. I'm about to find out. Very heavy. Good. 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 Clamp. Yeah. On his manual. So this in the future I may upgrade, but well, this feels pretty good at clutch. But the same. Gas pedal feels more a little stiffer. A little better. A little more true in the brake as compared to the G29. All in all it looks pretty good. As you can see it has the Brushed aluminum finish looks pretty good. You can, I think, I think you can adjust the clutch and the gas pedal, but not the brake. All right, should be fine. So now I have to remove the G29 and install the T300 RS. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel, Flash Games Racing. So my, I, right now I'm, I'm in the practice phase, learning phase, um, perfecting my driving skills. I'm driving on a simulator.
so that only gives you two slots to mount onto the to the cockpit. probably wondering what are all these wires so I have my bass shaker it's the amplifier for the bass shaker um, control and if you look here I have my butt kicker bass shaker down there installed um, so if you're gonna get a butt kicker for the PS4, you need one of these. Two port HDMI audio extractor. Um, so this, this, the bass kicker gave me a lot of trouble getting it installed. Um, Cause you can run it through the remote control, through the headset jack, but that affects the music, any sound from coming out to the television set. So all you'd have is bass going to the, or sound, or the, the audio going to the butt kicker amplifier instead of going to the television set or the stereo. I went and got me one of these. So this worked fine. So basically what happens, let's see if I can explain it. You take the, HDMI cable, HDMI from the PS4, it goes in here from the PS4, then it goes out to the TV here, and then it has the RCA output that goes here to the amplifier for the bass kicker. So how that's how that works. So you need one of these two port HDMI audio extractor. You can find it on Amazon. I think it's for like $19 or so. But you need one of these if you're gonna run a PS4. What can run a PS4, All right? So that kicked my butt a little bit trying to get my butt kicker installed. <laughs> 